Okay, so what I'm going to be doing this video is just to um, show how you can uh, compress the HTML content of the um, you know of the HTML that's in the um, image you know that you send to the ESP32. Uh, so basically, what I've got here is I've got here the um, web page. So this is the web page header file. And I've actually updated it so that it's actually a JPEG now. So that just makes it a little bit smaller. So what I need to do is see this is the name of the web page. So it's web page again dot h. So now I need to save this as a HTML file. So the easiest way to do that is just to uh, remove the just remove the um, the C parts of the file. And then if I just do, just do save as, and then just call it, and just add TML onto it, so it's HTML. And so that's save the HTML, so um, j just so I don't end up overwriting it, I'm just going to uh, revert it back, and just undo. And so then I'm just going to save it as um, just save it again as as the H file, just so I don't so I'm making you say it's. But as you can see, there's the HTML file that's been saved. So now what I need to do is to go into the directory where that HTML five is. Sorry, that HTML file is, I should say. And. So you can see it's a web page again dot html. So what I need to do then is gzip it. So it says gzip. And so now um all right, so you notice the original header file is 216k and the gzip file is now 127k. So what I have to do now is that header, sorry, that gzip file, I now have to convert that into a header file. And the way I do that is with xxd. And so it's do xsd and it's dash i. And then you send the output to um, so I'll just call it web page html um, so what did I call it? Just all oh, right, yeah, that's it. I just put a gz so dash gz. So, so what this does is this creates a header file. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, that, that's a bit silly. So what you have to do is you have to access the the actual um, gzip file. So what this does is it converts the binary file, the gzip file, into a header file. So now, well anyway, there's no point showing that because it's quite big, but I'll just open it just so you can see what it looks like. And so it's quite a big file, and you see it's got the, it's an unsigned char, which is, and that's the name of the, um, the char variable, and this is the length of it. So now that I've created that header file, what I then have to do, um, actually before I do that, what I'm going to show you is that this is the sort of the original code and I've added, uh, just to speed things up, I've added the actual, the new code as comments in here just to make it quicker. So, so now if I, um, if I run the, the, this current code, which I've already built, so if I actually run it, So, all right, so I'm just going to run the monitor so you can see what this current code actually does. And, all right, yeah. So, I don't know, um, 
actually know I made a mistake. Um, okay, stop, stop, stop. Now what's happened is that I actually forgot to flash it, so let me quickly do that. <coughs> Oh, actually, yeah, sorry, I think I slipped up a bit there, but let me just... Okay. Yes, yeah, so if I load the page... Right, so you see there that the... Um, See, it, loads, it actually loads a, a little bit quicker than it did before, and part of that is because I've switched over to a JPEG. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reload it again, just to show you um, uh, what size it is, and also, yeah, see, so it's two one six six zero six. It sent, and then if we go and inspect it and go to the network then we'll see yeah see it's a 211k and you notice that it's the size so transfer 211 the size is 211 and as we see it's 216606 so now if we um if we come out of that and so now what I'm going to do is just change this file so that it's um it's the it actually um sends the gzip version instead. Right, so so I've just got to change that code and then just got to change the header files around as well. So it uses that new header file that I did um create with XXD. So now if I do so let me just get this running. Right, so right, so if I flush it, right, so what it's gonna do now is it's gonna build the the code. Uh, with, with using the header with the gzipped HTML file in it instead. Okay, so that's that done. So, so now I've just got to just reset it. Right, so now you can see there. So, so the transfer is 211k and the size is 211k. So now um, all right, so now it's ready. So now I'm going to try and refresh the page. And see, that was a lot quicker. So now, see, this transfer was 124k, and the size was still 211k. So that shows that our gzip has successfully worked. And as you can see on here, the HTML is now 127754. So that's uh that's quite a bit smaller than what did we get before? Two hundred and six so two hundred and sixteen K. So we gee zipped it and this is with the jQuery down to hundred and twenty seven K. And then if we go into 
have a look at the um the headers so you can see it was 1.1 .1 and Yeah, see, content in Godium was gzip and text HTML. So, therefore, that shows that that successfully worked. And as you can see, the you remember how long it was taking to load before. And, of course, the... I mean, I got rid of the image just so that this wouldn't keep scrolling up. Um, but the usual stuff works like the text. Yeah, so that you can send the text, you know, with the jQuery like before. And well, we don't know if the LED toggles or not, but um, well, I can tell you it does because I can see the LED even though you can't see it from the uh, the actual picture. And so, just to show how quickly this reloads again, so and you see, because it's HTML, it just takes it, it doesn't cache it as far as I know, and so you see. Remember how long, how it was taking ages to load before when I was doing it in the previous videos. But now you can see that this page, well, obviously, because I've changed it to JPEG, that helps. But the fact that it's, it's actually gzipping the page and it's so much smaller than the 260K, that, that's why it's, um, that's one reason why it's, it's a little bit faster. So hopefully that will help someone and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.